hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to fluid mechanics in the previous video we discussed uh, some basic concepts related to liquids at rest the pressure exerted by liquids at rest and other related things so in this video we are going to discuss about some important concepts related to fluid pressure measurement so before we discuss uh, this whole thing there are some key terms that we have to be clear about some key concepts associated uh, related to the measurement we have to be clear about first the pressure uh, you know related to fluids be it hydrostatics or hydrodynamics they are measured in two different ways in two different systems first where the reference which is taken with respect to which all the measurements are done that is vacuum complete vacuum or absolute zero pressure that is one system and that pressure which is measured is called as absolute pressure and in the other system the atmospheric pressure that is taken as reference and all the measurements they are taken with respect to that constant pressure uh, called as atmospheric pressure and that is called as gauge pressure so in most of the fluid measurement systems instruments whatever we use be it manometer barometer everything they measure the gauge pressure that is their atmospheric pressure is the reference so in numerical calculations all the measurements are done with respect to zero zero is the reference suppose we let's say we take uh, you know suppose we decide that now we'll be measuring everything with respect to let's say three then all the measurements that will be taken that will be done with respect to 3 here ok so let us try to uh, make you understand this whole thing so here let's say we have a system where we are measuring everything with respect to 0 from this point so if it is coming as 5 then it is 5 5 minus 0 5 if it is coming let's say 7 then that is 7 minus 0 that value is 7 now suppose someone decides that no everything that will be measured that will be done with respect to 3 this that is the new reference this is the old reference then here according to this new reference this value which was previously 5 now it is 2 5 minus 3 is 2 and this value which was previously 7 with respect to 0 now it is 7 minus 3 which is equal to 4 so with respect to 3 as reference the values are which are measured is 4 and 2 whereas with respect to 0 the old reference the values are what 5 and 7 ok so this is the whole thing so here that concept here it can be explained in terms of this ok so we will come to it so first is the atmospheric pressure so we know that earth is surrounded by a gaseous envelope and that extends to about 400 kilometers above the surface of the earth and it contains various gases mainly nitrogen and oxygen uh, with the percentages being 78% and 21% and the remaining it contains small quantities of uh, carbon dioxide, neon, water vapor, dust particles and some other gases too so this gaseous envelope surrounding earth it exerts a pressure 
and that value is given by atmospheric pressure which is equal to 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square or pascal so all the measurements that are done they are done with respect to this as the reference instead of zero absolute zero or vacuum mostly all the measurements because we are doing the measurements on earth so atmospheric pressure will come into play so every measurement that is done it is taken as this as reference with respect to this the calculations are done let us try to understand this let us say we have a vessel filled with a liquid of density rho up to a certain level and here we have to make pressure measurements let's say at this point a which is at a depth of h from the surface now we know that the pressure exerted by a liquid column that is given as rho g h we have discussed it in the previous video so here in between a and this point at the surface the pressure that is exerted that is given as rho g h okay this from the surface up to this point a rho g h here the pressure which is acting on the surface that is equal to the atmospheric pressure that is equal to the atmospheric pressure now if we only consider this rho g h then that is the gauge pressure okay without taking into consideration the atmospheric pressure suppose if we measure the total pressure that is taking into account the atmospheric pressure also then that will be p atmospheric that is the atmospheric pressure plus rho gh that is p atmosphere plus p gauge that is called as the absolute pressure okay absolute pressure this so if only rho gh is considered taking into account the density depth and acceleration due to gravity that is the gauge pressure which is measured by all the pressure measurement devices be it uh, manometer barometer everything if we add the atmospheric pressure then that becomes the absolute pressure if we exclude it if we measure it with respect to the atmosphere then that becomes gauge if we add it we take atmospheric pressure into consideration add it to the whole then that becomes absolute pressure so here the total pressure at a that is atmospheric pressure plus rho g h or the gauge pressure and this total pressure is called as absolute pressure and rho g h that is called as gauge pressure so absolute pressure is the total pressure measured which is the sum of the atmospheric pressure and gauge pressure absolute pressure is always measured with respect to absolute vacuum or zero pressure gauge pressure is always measured with respect to the atmospheric pressure taking that as reference so here let us try to understand here the bottom line this line horizontal line that denotes absolute zero pressure or vacuum absolute zero pressure or vacuum this red line this red horizontal line that represents atmospheric pressure okay atmospheric pressure which is equal to this now let us say there is a point a here if this pressure measurement is done from this red line with respect to 
this red line which means we are taking atmospheric pressure as reference then that measurement is called as gauge pressure and here the point A lies above atmospheric pressure only then it will be called as gauge pressure so here the pressure measurement of A with respect to this atmospheric pressure line as reference is called as gauge pressure suppose this measurement of point A the pressure measurement is done with respect to this absolute zero pressure line vacuum line this bottom line horizontal line then this total pressure here is called as absolute pressure because it is the sum total of atmospheric pressure and gauge pressure another interesting thing suppose we take a point B which lies below the atmospheric pressure line okay B lying below the atmospheric pressure line so the pressure of B is less than the atmospheric pressure so here if we take the measurement with respect to this vacuum line or absolute zero pressure line then that is called as the absolute pressure because then we are taking this absolute zero line as reference but when we measure it with respect to the atmospheric pressure line in the downward direction then it will be called as vacuum pressure so vacuum pressure is simply atmospheric pressure minus absolute pressure when the pressure measurement spot that lies below atmospheric pressure so always understand here when the point lies above the atmospheric pressure line then P absolute is equal to P atmosphere plus P gauge when it lies above atmospheric line but when it lies below the atmospheric pressure line okay in that case okay in that case the vacuum pressure is equal to P atmospheric that is this one this total and this subtracted from it that it gives us this the vacuum pressure this P atmosphere minus P absolute this when it lies below the atmospheric pressure line so always remember these two important things whenever we have to make a measurement of a pressure which is greater than the atmospheric pressure this equation holds whenever we have to make a measurement of a pressure which lies below the atmospheric pressure this equation holds okay and understand the basic definitions all the measurements done with respect to the absolute zero pressure line or vacuum line that is zero they are absolute pressure and all the measurements that are done with respect to the atmospheric pressure line lying above that is gauge pressure and lying below that is vacuum pressure okay so these things it can take a little bit of time for you to understand to grasp these whole concepts so you have to be a little bit patient don't worry you know just try to understand this and then it will come to you okay it will you will try to you know you will understand it step by step so these are some important things related to fluid pressure measurements and in all the fluid measurement devices the pressure which is measured is always with respect to atmospheric pressure so it is called as gauge pressure lying above the atmospheric pressure okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much